Tommy Trelevis is the owner of two top-shelf gyms in North Jersey and spent early Monday morning talking to New Jersey News Network's Emily Young about all the precautions he had taken to reopen both facilities. As a matter of fact, Trelevis was one of many gym owners who opted to open their doors in defiance of Governor Murphy's shutdown orders. But after opening his doors, he decided in the afternoon to close down after speaking with police. I had uh, spoken to the chief of police up at the... Uh you know, the, the, the area where I had opened up and uh, my other location. And, you know, he even heard, you know, that there was dates that were being, you know, publicized yesterday in the, in the briefing. And I right away went right to the computer and looked and I saw Ross Barak um, give a, um, his press conference, you know, for Newark. Uh, and he said right out, you know, June 15th is going to start. Uh, we're going to, you know, part of that process is going to be the, um, the gyms and the fitness centers. Then Trulivas went home and watched Governor Murphy's afternoon briefing and reality set in. Our salons and barbershops can serve their clients again on Monday, June 22. On Monday, June 22. And then in the period, I would hope sooner than later following uh, those openings, our gyms and health clubs will again provide spaces for residents to work out, albeit at reduced capacities. It's impossible to social distance while you're having someone cut your hair. Um, and in our facility, you're able to social distance, but we're not able to be even given a date yet. You know, so he's given us a timeline. But realistically, let's put it this way. We, we could be easily moved into July uh, as opposed to the end of June. What makes things even more frustrating for Trulevis and other gym owners is that he has a friend in North Carolina who tells him that the gyms in that state are fully functional and serving its members. For New Jersey News Network, I'm Phil Andrews.